Python classes review. You review Python methods, functions, and classes. You then create a class and instantiate it several times with different values. Finally, you review the circle class example used in this course. Required resources, one PC with operator system of your choice, VirtualBox or VMware, DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Launch the DevNet Associate Virtual Machine. Go to Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is the virtual machine and start. Review functions, methods, and classes. You review the difference between functions and methods. You also review the basic structure of a class. What is a function? As a quick review, recall that a function is an independently defined block of code that is called by name. In the following example, the function called function name is defined and then called. Notice that it is an independent block of code. It is not encapsulated in any other code. Okay, this is a comment and define the function. This is the name of the function. This is the code. And you can call the function just like this. And what is a method? A method, however, cannot be called by itself. It is dependent on the object in which it is defined. In the following example, the class class name is declared and three methods are defined. The class is instantiated and then each method of the class is called. This pseudocode does not explicitly show the class constructor init method with the self variable. This special method is reviewed below. Okay, and define the class. This is the name. Okay, this is uh, the class name, and you can define three methods. This is the first method. This is the name of method one, the name of method two, and the name of method three. You will define three methods. And now you can instantiate the class. You can assign the class to a variable. So you can execute three different methods. Define a function. You will define a function with arguments and then call the function. Open a new text file and save it as mycd.py in your labs devnet source file on directory. Okay, you can use Visual Studio Code, VS Code. Here on file, new text file, 
create new text file and and save this file save us and be sure you are on the labs devnet source file on directory okay this is the home directory labs devnet source file on and use my cd.py okay use this name and say define the function my cd with the argument cd for cd name when the function is called with a specified cd name it prints a statement that includes the cd name okay define this define the function name is my cd and this is the this is the argument this is the function name okay uh, four spaces or top and print i live in Okay, this is the argument. Call the function my CD passing a different values for CD. Okay, Austin, Tokyo, Salzburg. Okay, call the function my cd but use uh, a different argument Okay, for example, here call the function, the function, and insert an argument, and this code will be executed. Okay, and save, open terminal. go to the directory change directory uh, labs the net source um, file on enter list to verify and um, this is this is the file and execute the file five on three my cd Okay, and now you can see invalid syntax on line number one here. Okay, go to VS Code. This is the line number one, line number one. And I forgot the column. Okay, save. And try again. 
very nice. Define a class with methods. In this part, you will define a class. Use the init function to define a method for the class. And then create instances of the class. Define and then instantiate a class with the init method. A final class is used to create objects that have properties and methods. All final classes typically include an explicitly defined init function. Also, you can create a class without defining one. The init function is always initiated when a class is instantiated. Instantiating a class creates a copy of the class which inherits all the class variables and methods. Although it is sometimes called init function, it is dependent on the class. Therefore, it is technically a method. Open a new text file and save it as mylocation.py. Okay, new text file. Save us. Remember, you are on the labs devnet source file on directory and use my location that py and save very good the final class with the name location and press enter if you are working in bs code then the text editor should automatically indent four spaces Okay, class location. Class location column. Now, four is four spaces and define the init function. By convention, the first parameter is called self. The self parameter is a reference to the current instance of the class itself and is used to access variables that belong to the entire class. The init function is then assigned any variables that entire class needs. In the following example, define a name and country variable. Okay, define underscore underscore in it underscore underscore self comma name comma country column enter self name enter self country okay you can test that this class is now ready to use instantiate the class by assigning it a name of your choice then specify the values for the required class variables name and country the following example uses the location class to instantiate a class called lock with a name and country specified by you. Use your name and country. Call the class, the class location. Enter the name and enter the country. and assign this to a variable lock. Enter, enter, backspace, enter, and log, 
the class location, enter your name and country. Enter. To verify that the instantiated log class now has your assigned name and country, add print statements to your script. Right? Print log name and log country. Print log name. Log country. To verify the log is indeed a class, add the following print statement that will print the data type for log. Okay, print type log. Okay, and print the type of the variable log. Enter. Type and run your script. They say five on three. The is my location. My name, Christian, and my country, Peru, and uh, the type of variable lock is a class, and the class is location. When you call the class location, you insert your name and your country. So in the class location, in it is defined. This is your name, this is your country, and your name is assigned to a variable, and your country is assigned to another variable. And now you will print the contents of the variables and you will review the type of the log variable. Okay, print the contents of the variables and now you know that the variable log is a class and the class is location. Add a method to the location class. Now add a method to the location class that can be called by a programmer when the class is instantiated. You write a method to print the statement. My name is name and I live in country. Delete the code that begins with the instantiating of the lock class. Your mylocation.py script should now only include the following code, just like it is. Okay, define a new method called mylocation and assign it the self parameter so that the new method can access the variables defined in the init function. Then define a print statement to print out the string specified above. The print statement should be on one line. Define this method.
tab define my location and the argument is self column and print hi my name is and I live in enter print hi my name is the name self name and I live And I live in self country. Enter. Press Enter key twice and backspace twice. Save and run your script to make sure there are no errors. You will not get any output yet. Okay, this is the class location. Define the init function is a method, and define my location function is another method. The init function will get the parameters, the name and country, and assign name and country to variables. And now the location method, and now this method will get the self variables and print. Okay, but for now, you will not get any output. Save. Run, run the same file again. No errors. All is very good. Instantiate the location class multiple times and call the myLocation method. Now that you have a class, you can instantiate it as many times as you like, providing different values for the class variables each time. Add the following code to your myLocation.py script to instantiate location class and call the method. You do not need to add the comments. Okay, these are the comments. And log one. Okay, this is the class location. Enter log one, the class location. The arguments and call the method log one the method is this. my location enter okay this is the class the class uh, has two methods and now here instantiate the class the class is location this Assign this to variable log one and then call the method. And this is the method. And this method will print the arguments. Okay. Save and run. 
So run. Hi, my name is Christian and I live in Peru. Very good. Add two more instantiations and then a fourth one where you specify the name and values for your log. Okay, two more instantiations. Call the method. And there are two more instantiations, log two and three. Different values. Call and the, the methods log two, log three. Now add a new uh, variable your underscore log, your name, your country, and call the method. Okay. Instantiate, instantiate the class again with with a different with a different variable. And call the method. Okay, very good. Save and run. Save. Run. Very good. Review the complete my location script. If you had any errors with your script, review the following example, which includes all the code used in this form. Okay, uh, define the class, define method one, method two, instantiation of the class, call the method, three instantiations and call the method. Very good. Review the circle class script. The example in the course shows how to create a class that calculates the circumference of a circle and then print out the calculated value. There are few things to note in this script. Okay, the class includes three methods, including the init function. The init function provides a method for entering the radius value. Okay, this is the code. This is the class. Uh, three methods, method one, method two, and method three. This is the first function, the first method will get the radius value and assign a radius value to a variable. The circumference method calculates the circumference and returns the value storing it in the circumference value variable. Okay, this is the 
circumference circumference method will get the self parameter that is uh, the radius this is p calculate the circumference assign the the value to a circumference value variable and return that variable the print circumference method prints a string notice that the variables are cased as a string with the string function otherwise the print statement would throw an error because self radius and my circumference are not strings Okay, this is the third method. Print circumference uh, will get the self uh, variables. Now call the method circumference where the circumference is calculated. Assign this uh, method to my circumference variable and print circumference of a circle with a radius of a string self radius. Okay, a radius is a number, so you need to add the string function to print this and is the value this is another number so you need to use the string function and now first instantiation of the class instantiate the class call the the method this method and add two more instantiations and method calls. Okay, the name should be circle class. Save this with a different name. Save us. circle class save remember you are on lab devnet source file on directory use this name circle class save and modify this the class is circle Only one parameter is radius. Only one variable, radius. Okay, this is the class circle. Only one argument radius assign radius to a variable. The another method is circumference. And get the self arguments. Okay, define P. And the variable circumference value multiply the p with radius with two and return circumference value enter 
bug space and define the third method print circumference column get the self variables self arguments and the, the variable my circumference and call the method self this method circumference okay and the print circumference of a circle of radius of circumference of a circle with a radius of self radius is and um, this variable my circumference With uh, radius and my circumference are numbers, so to print, use the uh, string function. Enter. The instantiation and call the method. with uh, different values circle 1, circle 2, circle 3 Circle one, uh, instantiate the class circle, the argument, for example, five, and the method circle one, the method is print circumference. And use different values for two more instantiations, two and seven. Change the variable circle two, circle three. Okay, define a class, class with three methods, method one, method two, method three. The first method get the argument radius. The second method calculate the circumference and the third method prints the, the radius and the circumference. With the third method call the method number two to get the value of the circumference and then instantiate the class and call the print and call the method print circumference three times with different values okay save and verify with ls circle class Enter. Very good. Circumference of a circle with a radius of 5 is 31 
0.416 and so on. Thank you very much.